Okay, hold on. This this is newsworthy. I started to park at Starbucks, and it prompted me to auto park, but there's no cars where I'm trying to park. It's just empty spaces, which means it's parking by sight. So here we go. This is my first visual parking. Normally it uses ultrasonic sensors, so you kind of scan the parking lot when you drive by, and that means it can only park between vehicles. But this just parked with cameras alone. That, that's newsworthy, that's awesome. Okay, that's a good update. Alright, I've got the uh, 10.3 update, and it looks like there's some interesting controls for the full self-driving beta. You can now tell it to be chill, where it will keep a further fall distance from the vehicles in front of it, and perform fewer speed ch speed lane changes. Average is just a little more aggressive, and it may perform some rolling stops. Assertive perform frequent speed lane changes and will not exit passing lanes, and may perform rolling stops. Will not exit passing lanes. Well, that's kind of a jerk move. So we'll keep it with average. Uh, traffic light and stop sign control beta. Green light chime. Full self driving visualization. Alright, so that's. It's about the only thing that really applies here, I think. Yeah. So we're keeping it at average and default settings for everything else. And we're gonna go for a first 10.3 drive. All right, we're at my favorite starting location, and we're gonna test out if this is really single stack and see if there's any improvements along the route, too. So let's begin here. Uh, this route will take us on the highway shortly, uh, and again, that'll show us if this actually is single stack. Hopefully it uh, keeps this display up and go back to the original navigate on autopilot display. All right, we're on the average aggressiveness setting, so it should, uh, Properly stop or somewhat. <laughs> that was a, a pretty blind turn, so it makes sense that it uh, they wanted to roll way forward, to get good visibility. All right, first intersection. Dim the lights up back. lining in right before the intersection. So again, this is going to be stacked with at least 10 cars deep here. So that won't be possible, you know, during the regular regular day. Oh, okay. All right. It's a difficult left turn. All right. There's definitely some intersection improvements with 10.3. Changing lanes again and doing a little phantom braking. But we could have just stayed in the right lane that whole time, so the pathing is a little strange. I'm not pathing, but the, uh, the navigation. Alright, and we'll be getting on the beltway in uh, 0.8 miles, so hopefully this stays like this and we have a whole new 
navigate on auto, navigate on autopilot experience. I guess there were third lines. Pilot in the dark. Oh, it saw the bike and it veered away from it. It was scared of his, uh, gonna be, oh god, oh god, okay, yeah, there's there's no lanes here, so it has, it's a little confused, I think. It kind of picked up some dirt trail and thinks it's a lane. So yeah, I'm gonna have to inch it through unless we get a, a get green light in a second here. Okay, 
Okay, green turn around and start for it. Yet, which was the big, the big thing. Seven, uh, 10.2 was supposed to be single stack, but and they said it's going to be a 10.3 instead, and it's uh, apparently not there either. So navigate to Starbucks. I'm gonna get myself some caffeine. I'm curious how it's going to handle the uh, the turnaround. Oh, it's going to be a loop around here. Okay, what? Well, that should be a little more interesting, more of an interesting route. down here where it likes to get in the right hand lane, mid intersection, travel another light, and then get back in the far left hand lane, and then take a turn into the Starbucks here. So I want to see if that's been fixed in 10.3 also. disengaging because there's a car over there. And we have like a drunk driver right now. I mean, it wasn't going to hit the car, we would have just cut them off and they are a little worried because we had the blinker going. Starbucks is back that way. But, uh, I mean, pretty good run till the end there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and disengage, and, uh, I think we'll end it here and put in a Starbucks order, because it's almost 6 o'clock, and I can get some caffeine and edit this video together. But, uh, yeah, so, s still two stacks, nothing crazy, just some minor improvements, some new UI changes, some configurations, you can actually tell it how to drive a little bit. Um, that's it, not a giant update. Thanks for watching. So we didn't get single stack, but yeah, look at that. You put reverse and immediately. I wonder if it can actually. The old one would move forward and backward and do what I had to do to get it in, so we'll see if. Oh yeah, it's gonna turn the wheel. It's going to the left. Should back in. Not the quickest thing ever, but look at that, that's perfect. Is it just gonna keep going? Alright, a little over the line. <laughs> but uh hey we got uh we got auto park based on uh based on camera information, so that's that's the big takeaway on 10.3.